guys, this is GT Gamer 21 here, and in today's video, we are making holographic signs. So, this is in Roblox Studio, and it's really easy to make, doesn't require any coding. I will make a part 2 to this for coders, where it bobs up and down, and might have just better particles. But anyway, let's start. Okay. Okay, these are the two basic things you'll need. Your coloured your coloured stuff, and then one part here, and this part here. So, what we need to do is we need to scale this down to about that size, and put that down into the ground. Just like that. And we also want to make this black. Okay. And that will resemble the projector for the whole side. So over here, if we shrink in this and we go to the size and we change the middle one to 0, 0 0.5. There we go. That makes it a bit smaller. Okay, now the next step is to rotate that on. So it's like that, and then that. Okay, now make it look like it's not touching, but it is just sticking out of the black uh, projector. Um, okay, I'm just going to change something down here. Okay, there we go. That is it. So mine is set to 60.5. And our last thing we need to do for this is make this 0 0.5 so it's half transparent. And go down to can collide and turn that off. So now you can walk straight through it. Okay. Now just copy that and rotate it around so it's facing the complete opposite direction and then do that one more time so it's facing directly up now these are the three little beams which go up to the holographic sign I'm just trying to get this here right a bit more. Yeah, sixty seven. Uh, that's good enough. And the position would take away the point five on the end. Okay, so now that we've got the three beams, now for the sign. So, spawn in a new part. Mm, oops. So, spawn in one of these. Bring it straight up here, and this is where we need to do that. And then move it over a bit. So, it's like... So, it's like that. Hold up, my things are out of line, so I just need to quickly fix that. Make sure that yours are in line, otherwise it won't look good. Okay, move that over one more time. So now we've got the sign, don't let it touch. And if we bring this over here, make sure that it's almost exactly lined up with that one right there. So the bottom corner of those. Okay. Now that we've got that, bring that up a bit, and then bam, we've got the sign. Now we need to do exactly what we did to these down here, so we need to turn the transparent transparency to 0 0.5. We need to go down. Now this is the actual sign. To turn off can collide. The only reason we're turning off can collide 
is so that because in holo holograms you can walk through and so if it's a holographic sign it's not complete unless you can walk straight through it now if we click on the sign go to the actual part and then go insert object and insert a surface GUI inside in Inside the surface GUI, insert a text label, and it should come up up here with this label thing. Now, position it directly into the middle of the square by clicking on text label, going down to position, and where it's got these brackets, change this one to there, and this one will make it go into the middle. Now, and then this second one here makes it go down. But we're going to do the down part as soon as we've done the size. We want this to be something like 450 by, I don't know, 300. Okay, that's big enough. Okay, it's, so now that we've done that, go back up to here. I'm going to change this again back to 200. Maybe 190. I'm trying to get it as easy as I can. Okay, that's a, that's uh, I think it's directly in the center. Now we're going to bring this about I don't know 200. Okay, that's probably a bit too far down. If we hold that, maybe. Okay, that's about the middle. Well, where that text is. So now with the text label, go to background color. Go pick screen color. Now, so let me move that out of the way. Pick that color there. If that's if you want, and then that's if you want a border a box like that. Otherwise, go under the text label. And this is what I did. I turned background transparency to one. And with the border pixel size, I turn that to zero. So now you've got now it's just a little text there. Now this is what this is where it's fully custom to your liking. So go down to where it says text and change it to whatever you want, like holographic sign. That's one word. It can be as many words as you want. Just try to get it about centered. There you go, now it says a uh, holographic sign. Now if we go back down here, you can change the font size. I like to make mine as big as it can go, so you can see it. And then that's what, that's what you saw over here. But this one has particles. Now there's two ways you can do this. Um, so you can, first of all I'm going to group these. And I'm going to call this the holographic sign. I'm just going to call it holo sign. And go into uh, the part. Make this invisible. And as small as it can go. So we're just going to bring that to about, about the same area where that this leg is okay that's about centered yeah anyway so we need to make this one go down to transparency and put it as one and make sure can collide is off so you can walk through it now I'm going to rename this part the particles Now these are the two easiest options. Go insert object and insert sparkles. That's what I have on the other side. And this looks good enough on its own like that. But the other option is to go insert object and go to particle emitter. Which is there. Now it's going to start off with these blue, uh, white things. I don't really like that. And all of this is fully customizable, but there's other tutorials on YouTube for that. 
so just go look it up if you want to customize the particles um but i will ch ch uh, show you how to change it so you go down here to where it says where is it wait no click on the particle on there dot where it says the picture the picture that's in it which is Here, texture. Get, get, just get any random detail ID. And for that, just go to here. I'm just going to use this one here. Uh, copy it. Go into here. Texture. Paste. Bam. Now you have that. It doesn't really look that good, but you can find way better particles than that. And this is also going to be coming up in my latest game, which is Movie Tycoon. Anyway, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this helped, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.